No! What up, everyone? Welcome back to Light Platinum. Very professional intro there, am I right? Not really, but we've been standing here in front of Steven for about, uh, I don't know how long, maybe three hours now. And it's time to record uh, the second episode for today. So here we go. It's been a while, but we finally have time for a Pokemon battle. So we're going to be fighting Steven and then going after the legendaries that he knows of that are from the Hoenn region and stuff. So, of course, we have Superior still up first for some reason. I was hoping maybe Boogaloo would be up first, but hey, it turns out Boogaloo is kind of dead. So, instead we got Kingston here, and we're going to fire blow the crap out of this Skarmory and take it out in one fell swoop of fiery death. Yeah, that sounds about right. So anyway, it has been about three hours since the last episode, and uh, or since I recorded the last episode, but... Today is kind of a special day. I'm doing two episodes mainly because, one, I'm bored, and two, it is episode 50. 50 episodes of Light Platinum now. That is, that is a pretty long time, I mean, with 15 minute episodes, let's see, how long is that? I can't do math right now, but I'll try. I'll try to do math in my head without my calculator. Let's see, 15 times 50 would be somewhere around, I don't even know, I can't, I can't focus on math right now. I'm trying to focus on a Pokemon battle after all, so... How about I pull out my handy dandy calculator? Actually, I just realized I have my uh, my phone right here. So I'm, I'm pretty sure someone by now has already done the math for this. But 50 episodes at 15 minutes each would be 750 minutes spent watching this playthrough. Wow, you guys have uh, 750 minutes. That is a damn long time. Jeez. With, with 15 minutes episodes, which is what I average my videos to be about. Because I do have some that are longer, like maybe up to 18 I would say are the longest videos I make but then I have some shorter ones which are like from 10 to 12 minutes so it balances out to about 15 which is 750 minutes which uh let's do some more math here 750 minutes that would be 12.5 hours that means you've spent almost half a day watching this uh, Pokemon Light Platinum playthrough isn't that great math I love math math is amazing I love math not really I I am actually quite good at math, except I can't really do multiplication of uh, multiple digits in my head. Probably should be able to. Wow, Metagross in this game must be so broken, because if you notice there, that one gave me 15 EXP. Jeez, Kingston, you know, I try to give you experience, but if we just take on Metagross, I guess we're never going to reach level 63. As I thought, you have great strength, and it was an honor to battle you. Now I have more errands to run. Alright, great, so that's going to unlock quite a few more legendaries from the Hoenn region. I don't even know what building this is, but there are quite a few more unlocked. I unfortunately have to check the website to find out which ones. Alright, so there are quite a few legendaries uh, from the Hoenn region here, but I'll try to do them all. So first of all, we're going to Sean Port City here, and I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to heal up my Pokemons on screen again, because right now I am at my all-time lowest. I hope it lets me surf this time. Oh, now, oh, of course. Apparently, I can't use Surf from right here. Okay, before I couldn't. So here we go. We're going up towards the Imitati Islands. We've been here uh, way back in the day, but now we have to go back over here. And hopefully this time there's no, like, banging noises like someone actually said there were. Um, so, what the hell is this? Maybe we go further to the north? No, I don't think so. Um, apparently we do. We... Continue on past Imatari Island. I really, I have no idea. Like I said, this is kind of blind for me. I'm just letting myself be guided by Wesley FG's website for Pokemon Light Platinum. And why am I not spraying a damn repel? Oh, sorry, language. I am, I don't know. I'm really kind of shocked in a way that I actually took so long to finish this game. But then again, looking back at Soul Silver, that game actually took me over a year to complete. Or actually, almost exactly a year to complete. And I didn't even do a lot of the side quests, like gym leader rematches and stuff, so... I don't know. I'm surprised in a way, but at the same time, I'm not, because lately I just haven't been very consistent in finishing games, have I? Fortunately for you guys, though, something th something special has happened inside me, and I've actually decided that, hey, I, I'm kind of doing this as a career for now because I really don't have another job, so... I'm actually going to try to be re more responsible with it. I'm even being more responsible with this than, like, school, which I should be focusing more on. But hey, it's second semester of senior year. Who really cares? Anyway, here we've got Kyogre, and Kyogre are amazing, and, uh, let's, uh, we have two Ultra Balls left, so why not? One for Kyogre, one for Groudon? How about that? 
Okay, I get- oh, I was about to catch it there, but I guess I don't because I'm dumb sometimes and I- I was- I don't know. I don't know why I even try to catch these Pokemon. It's not like it matters whether I- Sorry, not kill, faint them or not. As uh, someone mentioned, I killed Suicune. That is the cool thing about, like, posting one video right after another is I can actually see the comments from people and, you know, um, you know, directly talk about it, so... Yeah, I didn't actually kill Suicune, it was just fainted. And I'm hoping, like, the people that actually watched the previous episode will, will have actually stuck around for this one, because, you know, I'm trying to post them quite close to each other. It's only been, like, three hours, so, I don't know, I don't think people do too much on a, on Sundays. That's why I like to post, um, video, like, Munchcraft on Sundays. Unfortunately, I've had to change it around. I'm actually uploading Munchcraft on Mondays now, uh, but what the hell? Okay, apparently I can just dive up wherever I want to. That's great. So anyway, here we are back on Imitari Island, and of course we have more wild Pokemon because my my super duper Metropel ran out. Okay, I just sprayed two on accident, but oh well. Voice cracking. Just what we needed for the ending of this Let's Play. Isn't that great? I wouldn't even consider this a Let's Play, actually. It's more like a... Uh, it's more like a long play, a long ass play, like a more than a year play, I guess. Not more than a year, but almost more than a year, or almost a year, or I can't think straight anymore. You know what, let me try to concentrate on this game for a little bit because we are actually looking for Groudon right now and I'm pretty sure he's in this cave considering it's the only other thing in here. So Mount Origin, here we go, Repel's effect wars off, but hey, look at that, there are actually wild Pokemon in a cave housing a legendary for once. No other caves housing legendaries had any, but I guess this cave does because it wants to be specially awesome and stuff. So here's Groudon. Let's hope I can catch him. If not, we'll just give it a blowjob because that's apparently what we're doing here. So I smash away twice and that should be good enough for my last Ultra Ball to catch this bat. Oh, look at that. First try. Let's, uh, no, I don't want to nickname you. Get out of here. Only Mew deserves a nickname. So there we go. That's Groudon and Kyogre. If I had Dig, I would use it, but I don't think I do. Actually, wait a minute. Wait a minute. Yeah, we do. Oh, buddy. Look at that. We do have Dig. So there we go. That was Groudon and Kyogre. Next up, we've got uh, quite a special one. I don't mean to go into my Pokedex. I don't know why I would ever need my Pokedex. I don't ever use that. But we've got quite a special one up here in Iron Men City, and we do have uh, we do have Latios and Latias, but I don't think I'll be doing those because just like Raikou and Suicune, they can be randomly found in any water route around um, Lauren. So if you guys wanna look around for them, then be my guest. Actually, it's Zeri, not Lauren. So the first region of this game, and actually Deoxys is somewhere around here lurking. So. I'm gonna try looking for him. I know I know he's around here somewhere. I know he is. And then, uh, of course, we do have also Jirachi. Oh, there he is. So, what's up? What's up, dude? What's up? What up? What up? You are bigger than me. But, hey, guess what? I am the bigger man as I am going to Thunder Punch you. And, oh, wow, that was... Well, that wasn't very difficult, was it? Wow. Okay, so that's the Oxid. All right, so there's actually another legendary here. It's to the right of Iron Man City, and I was uh, just getting my Lapras because we need it for the Whirlpools that are going to be right here. I totally forgot about that, however, so I had to go back and get my Lapras. So, let's break away one Whirlpool, and I think there's actually two of them, but over here we're actually going to find the third of the Hoenn Trio. I bet you can guess who that will be. Yep, Rayquaza. So... Here we go, entering Mount Sky. I think we've been here before, but we didn't have the legendary activated, so now that we defeated Steven, I'm pretty sure Rayquaza should be lurking around here somewhere. So let's uh let's try to find him slash her slash it slash someone actually told me legendaries don't have gender, so I guess they're all it. They're all it. So we gotta go tag him. Actually we gotta avoid being tagged by them. That makes more sense. I don't even know how to play tag anymore. That's great. So, over here we got, um, an open area. I, I was hoping he would be right here, but I guess not. This cave is the longest cave I've ever been in. Then again, Lauren is known for having pretty deep, deep holes in her, or in it. It's, it's, it's a region. Okay, so here's Rayquaza. Let's not 
try to make any more innuendo slash talk about the genders of these Pokemons. Um, I know if I use a Thunder Punch, I might die. Or actually not die, but you know, kill Rayquaza. So, you know what, I'm actually trying to catch this one. So, oh, okay, that's good. Um, which ball? Let's see, let's try a Luxury Ball. How about that one? Yep. Oh, look at that! First try again. Wow, I am... I must be some kind of Pokemon master at this. First try on Groudon and first try on Rayquaza. With a Luxury Ball nonetheless. So, I hope I can fly from up here considering this is freaking Mount Sky. But, you know, you never know with these games. So, last Pokemon from, uh, Hoenn that we can catch is actually Jirachi. However, we actually have to go, uh, to the World Championship for that. And, uh, here we go. This is the people I'm looking for. These are the guys I'm looking for. Actually, I'm just looking for the one on the right. Hey, I knew you'd win the Zary and Lauren Leagues as a reward. Here you go, World Pass. Whoop the frickin' do. With that you can go to the World Championship, an event that occurs every year and has all the best trainers competing. Com competing. What the hell? I can't speak. Hope to see you there, but I have to go. All right. Okay, so now we need to go to Central City. And if you haven't noticed yet, I keep having to go back looking at the. Oh wow, it's right here. Keep back looking at the website to see where exactly I'm supposed to go. And that also just made me realize something, but I will heal up first. And what it made me realize is that there are actually um, the three Reggies in this game as well. Um, this is not what I'm looking for. I'm actually looking for the railway station. That's the safari zone. I don't want to go there. I'm looking for the train station. Hello, train station? Oh, it's right here. And if I do remember, there were some glitches going on with this. Yep, still there. Still there. I don't know why they wouldn't be there, though. I mean, this game, it's not like it's been updated or anything. Oh, wait! I think it has, actually. I don't i don't even know. But, let's take the train to the World Championship. All aboard the Polar Express. With Tom Hanks. Where the... What? Okay. This is, uh... This is one of the slowest trains I've ever seen. But, you know what? I can fix that. There we go. That's what I like to see. Turbo button at its finest. So, it's really difficult to win battles here. The trainers are so strong. Of course they are. Of course they are. So, World Championship. Basically like the Battle Frontier. Um, what do you call it? The Dome. The Battle Dome. We have to win a bunch of consecutive battles. It's kind of like the train thing in black and white. It's really dumb and I honestly don't want to try it because it's really difficult. And in the end, we're just going to be fighting a level 100 Ash. So... If you guys want to see that, I don't know. I really don't want to have to grind my Pokemon. I don't... I don't know. I'll use Rip Candies because I really don't care about, you know, hack games that much. Like beating them legit. Because they involve grinding and I don't like grinding. Actually, I don't even like grinding in, like, legit games. So usually I'll just use Rip Candies because grinding, I believe, is a huge waste of time. And I'm pretty sure... What is up here, actually? Okay, I guess there's nothing up here. Maybe there's going to be a Legendary here later on when we fight Cynthia. But for now, there's nothing here. So we're actually looking for Jirachi. Wonder where he could be. I have no idea. Well, let's look around for a little bit. And see if we can actually... Oh god, are those trainers? I don't want to fight any trainers. Could Jirachi possibly be up here? Yes, he is. Alright, what does this sign say? Apparently nothing. So, let's take on Jirachi from behind. Tackling his... What? Okay. Alright, so here we got Jirachi. Jirachi is one of my favorite legendaries, which is exactly why I'm going to kill it. So, I don't know, I've always liked Jirachi. I really liked his movie, too. Like, it's one of the only Pokemon movies I actually enjoy. Well, I'm lying about that, actually. I enjoy most of the Pokemon movies way more than the actual anime series. The, um, the TV show sucks. It's really, really bad. And, uh, yeah, Jirachi, my favorite Pokemon, which is exactly why I killed it. Speaking of that movie. I don't know. I just really enjoyed the Jirachi movie. It was quite great overall. Um, I know you can catch the three Reggies and they are in some mountains. Alright, so it seems you can find Reggie Rock in Mount Schwem. You can find Reggie Ice in Mount Ice Storm and you can find Reggie Steel in Mount Zeri. I don't know where those mountains are to be honest. So if you guys have your own time, you can go ahead and find them in those mountains. If I had a map, maybe I would do it, but guess what? They never gave me a map in this stupid game. If I had one, I would, but hey, look at that. I don't I don't have a map. I just have a bunch of fossils and passes. I have like five passes. Look, World Pass, Rainbow Pass, Orange Pass, Lauren Pass. What the hell is this? Four of them, okay? So, next episode, we'll be taking on Cynthia and her legendaries from Sinnoh region. 
Alright, so I was hoping we would finish up at episode 50, but I guess not. So, tomorrow, Martin Luther King Day, be there, and be ready for the last episode. See you guys tomorrow.